Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you my DigiKey patch tool. This is a Python script that I made recently to help me save significant amount of time when creating and maintaining bill of material for my projects. Now to give you a little bit of context, every project that I do, I want to keep it well documented, obviously for myself, but also for when I'm sharing it with you as open source, open hardware project. Now, as with any open source, open hardware project, you should have all the information that you need to build, learn, or modify the project yourself. Now, let's say we have a schematic for our project. This one here is very simple one, but it will do to demonstrate how the script works. Now, let's say we are at the point where we want to add information for this microcontroller, for example. I would have to manually populate all these values. So I would go to DigiKey and find the component I want to add. Then I would start populating manually the values. Now, as you can see, this process involves a lot of copying and pasting and doing back and forth between our CAD and web browser. Let me show you how DigiKey Fetch tool can help here. Let's clean this up and make sure we are having a fresh start. First, we will run fetch.py script and we can see the script is asking us to provide the address to the DigiKey component. Copy and paste it. And now we see the script immediately has fetched the information about the part and we can make sure that we are happy with the information. Once we are happy, we can start using these shortcuts that are listed. So control one, control two, control three, and so on. And as you can see, whenever we press the shortcut, the script is actually typing the information for us. See how easy and fast it was? This tool has saved me a lot of time and I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to juggle between my CAD and my browser and copy and paste a billion times while I'm working on a project. Now that you have seen how it works, links and instructions are in the video description and you can give it a try yourself. And that's all for today's video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. It does help me a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, would love to hear your feedback, so please leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video.